Yo, 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 what is good, people? Welcome back to another episode of the German Dream Chasers career mode. If you're new to the series, check the playlist on the channel and get yourself up to date with the most electrifying career mode in YouTube entertainment. Last episode especially was a big one. We played two of the best teams in the league, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. If you want to see the scores for those games, check the last episode out. They were very, very fun games to play. This episode, we're getting into it, starting off sixth in the league. So we are in the European spots. I believe top four is uh, Champions League, and then fifth is Europa League, and sixth is the Conference League. I might be tripping. I actually don't know how the European competitions work on this game. I can't lie. I've just made that up off the top of my head. But we're starting off playing against Dusseldorf for the first game. They're down in P16 in the league right now with a game in hand on a few teams around them. Stinky season for them so far. Two wins, two draws, seven losses. We played Dusseldorf a lot last season in the Bundesliga 2, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we played them a lot last season. We've been flying. The lads have been killing it. Some people more than others. You know, our two strikers have been quiet in the last few episodes. It's been weird, man. Ibrahim and Devo. I don't think they scored in the last episode in the league, both of them. Which is very bizarre to say. You know, I can't remember the last time I said that. Ibrahim, of course, scored him five goals in the cup against Hardenheim. And then in the league, just did absolutely nothing. Both certain players in here. Ishikawa was probably player of the episode. How long has it been since I've said those words, bro? Another big development in the last episode. Hector Vilalba handed in a transfer request. His name's not even Hector, bro. I just don't remember his first name. Yerai, Yerai Vilalba handed in a transfer request. Uh, and yeah, man, we're just going to have to let him go, bro. January transfer window is just around the corner. Our backup fullback, if he goes, is Sagerda Hansen, who we've loaned out to try and get a bit of growth. Uh, alternatively, we could play Hato, our fullback, as a backup if somebody gets injured. But right now, our starts is Barton and David. You know, we have backups in the centre-back spots. We have Amos and Amos, who can cover centre-back if Hato needs to move wide. Uh, we can put David either side. It doesn't matter. But yeah, like I'm actually not too bothered about Villalba going. Because he's not going to play. He wants to start over Barton. He's nine ratings higher, but he's just not better. And I'm building this team around Barton and right back. So it is what it is, man. Let's advance to the first game of the episode. And like I say, I'm not too bothered if Vilalba does go. But I'm also not going to entertain any offers because I just don't want to sell them right now. If the board forced the move through, you know, then we'll take whatever money we get. But I don't care whether it's 17, 18, 19 million that we get for Vilalba. I really don't care about the money, you know? I'm cash money mark, bro. You can't chat to me about money. Hold on. You can't chat to me about money. 81 million, are you mad, bro? Not even thinking about the transfer window, because right now we are in the month of December. We've still got a month to go before them. Uh, and we are playing Dusseldorf in this month. We're also playing against Schalke, who, of course, we played a lot last season. We're playing Frankfurt too. That's a rematch from the first leg of the cup this season, in which we did beat Frankfurt 1-0 which was a big victory against a big Bundesliga side. Will they get their get back today? Who knows? Let's see how Dusseldorf line up. It's a 4-2-3-1 formation. Let's get to it, boys. Come on. I'm actually going to give a start to Lyle Foster for this game over Moses Ibrahim up front, which is a controversial one, but it is what it is. We're also going to start again. Kyle Ferreira in cam over Sato Jr. Sato's class, but Kyle needs game time to keep his potential up. So Kyle's going to start in cam. I like this guy, I really do. Demir, I like he was class when he first came in. The last few games, he's ran out of form. Now, Ishikawa might be coming to take his spot. Also, Hato slightly tired, so just to keep the potential up of these youth lads, we'll give Amos a start in centre-back. Shall we play Ishikawa over Demir? Nah, we'll leave it for now. Let's get it, boys. Come on. The stage is set, and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a very brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. Stay tuned for all the action. Bro, why does my hook keep getting done in behind, bro? He's got 89 pace. No way. Near post, big save from Schmidt. He had a great episode last time out as well. Schmidt stepping up as our number one goalie. Bigger dead Amy getting it out. 
Amos forward now is Ferreira. Can we set off Devo down the line? Go on, Devo. He's got a bit of pace on him now, Devo, this season. Suddenly spawned in out of nowhere, trying to cross it in. Another ball into the middle. He's won it back though, tenacity. On the edge is Mehmet Demir, over the bar. Is that a goal kick? Please tell me that's a corner. Oh, Mehmet, bro, that didn't take a deflection. <laughs> Nearly an assist for Barton. But I love how this Barton guy plays, you know. We have cooked up something special here. A right-back playmaker from the Youth Academy. Like, this is the perfect player for what I wanted from this scout. What a tackle that is from David. And here's Lyle Foster. Great strength and great first touch. Pulling it back. Bergval on the edge. Looking to bend one. Ah, just doesn't have the curve, does he? Yeah, like I'm saying about Barton, though. When he cooks up into exactly what I want him to be. When he gets into the high 80s and the 90 rateds. It's going to be like the craziest player you've ever seen in career mode. His play styles, his stat spread at 70 overall is already mad. He's going to be the best ever. Big tackle from Foster. High intensity press. Pulling it back. Big ball into Devo. The near post. What a save. I have absolutely smashed that with Devo. And the keeper with a great stop. He's a palm stinger that though. You can tell lad. Go on Foster. What a save. And Foster's dolphin dives at that there. Mehmet knocks it down. And Devo. Blocked by Foster. Are you kidding me? Oi. Moses warm up bro. Oh no way. Come on lads. Big head there, Bergval. Here's Devo again. Devo again, trying to break into that space. And he's got it. Devo all the way. Good finish. That's just a great player, man. He's, what, 81 overall? He just feels complete already. You know, he felt like a rookie when we first got him. He did. He had the quality there, but he still needed polishing off. And now, he just feels like the complete package. You know, I'm not that I'm feeling Devo's package. That's crazy out of context. But you know what I mean, boys. Big head there from Barton, getting it clear. Here's the counter again now. Ferreira playing through Foster. Looking for Devo. Big interception. Foster keeping it alive. Into Kayo. Mehmet's found some space in the midfield. Step into that, Mehmet. Get it forward to Kayo Ferreira. Big save. Come on. Nice play, though. Come on, boys. Don't forget to check the links down below. Follow me on Twitch. All of that. Just check everything in the links below, bro. I've done a lot of content this week on Twitch. On the second channels as well with Twitch highlights. So make sure you go and check those out and support me in everything I do. If you want me to keep making electrifying content on YouTube, because it might be my last year, we'll see. Getting screened again. You see that? NBA 2K24. Oh, great turn. Great turn. You see the screen and the build-up, though, on Demir? That just shouldn't happen. Why are we getting screened every single game, every episode? Right, the subs are on. Yeah. Only 12 minutes or so to get an impact in. They're getting... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No. With your aerial plus, lad, that should go to our player every single time. Big tackle from Barton. Let's go. Counter. Moses is in the pitch now. Fresh legs in off the bench. Moses Ibrahim. He's been sat there. Chained up. On the bench, all game, and now he's unchained. Yeah, there's the winner. Come on, Moses. Come on, first touch, first goal. Come on. He's been quite stinky this season in the league. So I thought I'd give him a rest, bring in Lyle. And then Lyle stank up the gaff this game too. Moses comes in in replacement. He's back, boys, yeah. Big win there, boys away from home. Deserved it as well against a low league side. It was a tough game, though. Surprised that they're so low down, to be honest, because they were actually a good side. You know, they put up a good fight, but just weren't good enough for us, yeah? Just realised, boys, that win there takes us seven games unbeaten in all competitions. It does not feel that way. You know, after the massive head loss two episodes ago, it does not feel like uh, we're seven games unbeaten, but hopefully we can keep that form going. We're up against another big name in the Bundesliga now, Borussia Mönchengladbach. I always butcher this pronunciation of that name, but as it stands going into this game, we're actually above the other Borussia team, Dortmund. Wow, that, I did not even expect that. We've got a game in hand on them as well. We've turned our season around. We're currently sat fifth. Need to improve our goal difference, though. We've conceded a lot. Not really scored in as many as I would like to see from the lads as well. If we're going to have any chance of catching the top four, or, well, the, at least the top 
three or two as it stands to be honest uh yeah we're gonna need to just keep winning games bro by leverkusen and Bayern munchen running away with the league as it stands so let's just get into the next game and hopefully we can keep this unbeaten streak going any players worth noting in there goncarlo gueds up front uh, and that's about it bro yeah not really too scared of anybody else in this team let's get into it nice formation though but even though we're playing at home i'm gonna use the white kit here because we've not used this in a while I like their kit though. Maybe give me an idea for an, another kit in the next season or something. But yeah, Moses back up top. Sato back into Cam. Uh, and we're going to play Bald Amos in DM over Benji Amos. I just like to rotate those two whenever we can. Let's give a start to Ishikawa over Demir, bro. Just see how that goes. You get me? Let's go. That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. The story of the game as it unfolds live next on EA TV. Going with the purple name and number on this kit was a great idea, by the way. I really like how this looks in-game. Makes the numbers really pop and stand out so you can see your players on the pitch. You know who you're passing to without even having to fully focus properly. No way. What a save, Schmidt. Oh my days, lad. I thought I defended that perfectly. Well then, Schmidt... Can we get it forward? Quickly. Oh, ref, you can't do that, lad. Oh, Mbamba missing. Is that Chancel Mbamba? Hold on, Extreme Chasers player? No, Noah Mbamba? I think that's who I meant to say. Chancel Mbamba used to play for Newcastle, right? No, Noah Mbamba? Is this the lad that was at Anderlecht? We had him in the English Dream Chasers. What a player. Nice to see him again. But, and by the way, the plan is, once his defending stats have got to a good enough standard, we're going to convert him to a midfielder. And then we're just going to get his passing to 99, bro. And then his free kicks will go to 99. And his shooting will go to 99. And that'll go in next time. Well in. Good ball. Devo. Open the angle. Get the finesse. Easy does it. Is that an Ishikawa assist? Yo, I'm sorry. Demir might be benched for Ishikawa. For some reason, Ishikawa just plays so much better. I'm going to say it. Better than Demir. Well, at least right now, you know, Demir made this role his own with the instructions we put on it. It's a very special position, and you need to be a special type of player to play it, and Ishikawa has slotted in perfectly as a Demir replacement, whether it's as a sub or, like I say, right now, just resting Mehmet. He's been class there, bro. Maybe we moved Demir higher up the pitch, but then Sato and Kayo are already fighting for the cam spot to put another player in that fight. is going to be bad news well in Hato. Let's join Alex Scott. Ishikawa, lovely, blasting it through to Barton. Barton, touching it inside. Oh, what a tackle that was. We had uh, Devo there for a tapping. Come on, we've got Barton on the corner. Specialist at these dead balls. Go on! Oh, lad, I thought it was two. Nearly an assist for Barton. Come on, boys. And I love playing this career mode, you know. Ultimate team gameplay is complete garbage. But when you have players like this in career mode, this is so fun. Unable to keep the ball that time. Well, in Barton again. Oh, lad. My favourite player on the team. Go on, Devo. Go on, Devo. You're through, bro. It's all you, bro. Again, same finish as last time. Open the angle, finesse shot. What a save! How's he saved that, lad? And Amos has it now. Devo, lovely. Devo, find it. Mehmet Demir, onside. Flag stayed down. Mehmet! What a save! Oh, lad. He took so long to shoot then after I pressed the button. Come on. You know, we've got threat from corners. Barton whips it in. Ah, Bergval on the edge, knocking it down. Is Amy. Big save again. Come on, Barton, I need a better ball in, son. We've got numbers in the box. Tall players. Why is Devo at the front post? That's why, off the line, no way. <laughs> why is Devo at the front post? Nearly scores, Barton whips it in. Dangerous one. Nobody there, though. Ishikawa. Bergval. Ah, lad, it's just not good enough. Oh no, find it. Devo. Overlap is Foster. Overlap again. Bergval. Can we find it to him? Lad, this has just been poor attack and play. It's 1 0. 
And even if we win, I'm not going to be happy. Because we've been so, so bad going forward this game. And Alex Scott can provide us with all the details. Alex. Yes, it's a goal to Stuttgart. Big tackle, David. Come on. That should do it. That should do it. Thank you, Alex. Foster. Devo. That should do it, Devo. Put it to bed. Confirm it. There we go. Terrible, terrible game. Terrible game. We won 2 0. I'm still not happy though. Going forward, we were absolute garbage. I was playing around with the personnel at half time and at the 70th minute, trying to get something cooking, and it just didn't happen. Even though we won 2 0, I'm still not happy. That's a winning mentality right there. Seven games unbeaten in the league, eight games unbeaten in all comps. It's a nice place to be, but we still need to play better, bro. I feel like Liverpool in real life almost are performances. At least for the start of the season. Garbage. Still getting the results though, but we weren't playing well. You know, and that's how it feels right now. Assist leader is Robin Devo. Would like to see him as the goals leader. Would like to see Moses getting some goals in the league as well, but it's just not happening this year. Kyle Ferreira wants more games. We can't afford to have another player ask for a transfer request, so Kyle needs to start playing some. Match day then we're playing Frankfurt. I don't know if this is the same formation and team they used against us in the cup. It's been a while since that game, so I can't really remember. But there we go. That's the team on screen. Don't know any of the players apart from Kevin Trapp in goal. Beat them 1-0 last time. Hopefully we can beat them by more this time. We're going with Devo and Moses up top. Kyle Ferreira in Cambian. Benji Amos in DM. Demir on the right centre mid. Come on, boys. Yeah, we need to be better. We need to be better than the last game. It was absolute trash. One of those games, bro, where you just for the full 90, you just think, I can't wait for the full-time whistle here. Bloody hell, Devo. Lad, what? Is this like a flash forward to the future? Has he got older or has he bleached his hair, bro? I can't tell. But he looks garbage anyway. Never do that again, Devo. Go back to black. Amy Winehouse. Rest in peace. Let's get it, boys. Come on. This is it. A can't-miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago, and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Top players, big characters on the big stage, a highly exciting prospect. The action is next on EA TV. Would have been a nice thumbnail there if Devo actually looked at the camera, but he wants to ruin my life. That's fine by me, Devo, lad. Come on. <laughs> Make up for it by scoring the Hattie. I should have brought the keeper there. Big head from Bergval. Can we get it forward now, Devo? Wide. Demir. We know Demir's got passing ability. He gets it into Moses. Looking to beat the defender and just run with it. Go on, Moses, you little tank. Get your head down and just run with it, lad. Whipping it in now to Devo. Oh, lad, he was there. That was a perfect pass from Moses. Don't often say that. His passing's not great. But Bergval pinging it now into Demir. Lovely ball control and touch. Back into Bergval. Who takes it down the line. Bergval cutting it in. Won a corner. Come on. Barton, you know what to do, son. You know what to do. Barton, you know what to do. Oi. Amy knocking it. Here's the boy, Demir. On the half volley. And ball. It's fell. Penrith. <laughs> what a chaotic start. <laughs> I haven't settled into this game at all yet. Come on. Let's win the ball back and just build some possession. Well in Barton. Kyle Ferreira feeding Devo. Big strike, big goal. Come on. Settle into what? Yeah, we're settled, bro. We're winning the league, bro. Now, if we actually manage to win this league this season, it's actually crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Like, the last few episodes have been tough. And then the last two... Just easy sailing, bro. In fact, it's not been easy sailing. I've been complaining about our performance all episode already, but you know what I'm saying? David always finds himself in loads of space on this left flank, yeah, which is sad because he can't pass and he can't shoot, so he can't do nothing with it. So he's getting all the right positions. His stats just don't allow for anything to happen from those positions, though. Oh, my God. Can somebody press? Can somebody put a foot in? Oh my god, what a save, Schmidt. Christ, what a, actually, what a save. He saved it with his ribs. That's madness. Big save, Schmidt, off the post. Oh my god, our keeper is cracked. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god, the last few episodes, he's been going crazy. 
No. I've tried to sprint touch that forward. That's a joke. Can't concede off that. Hatho getting it out. Christ. Tough first half there, man. We're still in the lead, though, somehow. Thanks to our goalie, Schmidt. Best player in the team in the last, like, two, three episodes. Nobody's came close to him. The rest of the team are playing like garbage. I'm going to swap Kyle and um, Demir around. I don't know what even that, like, is going to do, but let's see if Kyle can play in the Ishikawa Demir role. Give Demir more freedom to attack. For some reason, the cam in this formation does nothing. Like, I thought he'd be the star central part of the attacks in this formation, but the cam never touches it. Big tackle from Amos. Come on, let's slow it down. Let's play off in the back, yeah? That's why we're training our keepers to get five-star weak foot. Because we play off in the back. It's what we do. See, look at Demir dropping down there. But he's on stay forward in the instructions, so it's weird. Sato used to do it loads as well. Nice dribble in there from Kyle. Demir around the corner. That's a great goal. That is a great goal. Playing out from the back. That's how we do it. That is just fantastic football. If you've watched every single pass in the build-up since the goalkeeper from the start of that play, that is just perfect. Every pass was right. Everyone did the right thing. I can't believe what I've just witnessed. That's a great goal. Demir, who I just complained about dropping back, getting the assist as well. And Bergvall, another goal. Honestly, I think Bergvall might have more goals in the league this season than Moses, which is saying something that's crazy. Are we going back to Bergvall getting all the stats? Remember his second season? He got so many stats, and then the season after, nothing. Are we going back to those days? Love to see it from our club captain. No way. No way. Good goal. But that's... No way. No way. Just completely flipped a switch there. Did not play like that in the whole first half. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. That's a professional win right there. Professional win. That's how we see games out, boys, yeah? We take the win. We came to the Bundesliga meaning business. And we are standing on business right now, showing this league who we are, bro. Dortmund dropping points. Leverkusen dropping points. And the dream chasers still picking them up. Who's going to stop us, bro? Who's going to stop us? Ishikawa just said I need more games, gaffer. Why does everyone keep saying this, bro? We're rotating the squad a lot. You know, everyone's getting the chance. Kaio, um, Ishikawa's been getting a lot of games recently over Demir. How can these people keep saying they want more games? I know Vilalba, it made sense because we weren't playing him at all. It made sense, that one. But for that guy to say it, bro, for Ishikawa and for Ferreira to say it, it just comes across a bit weird. You know what I mean? But for this game against Schalke, they're down in 14th place. We're up into third now, bro. What? Are you kidding me? Third place dream chasers in the Bundesliga. We might have Champions League next season. Our goal for this season was finish top half, bro. We might actually get Champions League football. That's actually mad, bro. I thought we'd finish, like... I mean, I know there's still a long time to go in the season. I thought we might get Europa League. Play Europa League next season. Try and balance three com uh, competitions. See how the squad does. Maybe get ourselves into the Champions League for the season after. And push for the league title at the same time. But we might be getting Champions League this season. I don't want to jinx it. Don't want to say anything too early. We're playing Schalke, who wear our kryptonite back in the Bundesliga 2. Onya Dika still there in that DM spot. He used to absolutely terrorise me. Used to see him in my dreams. Call them nightmares. Shout out Meek Mill. Let's get our press conference done. Let's get to the game. I'll show you the rotation I'm going to make to the squad. And then we can just jump straight in and go nine games unbeaten. Come on. Oh, what? I didn't realise it was so quick, the games, bro. I didn't touch the training plans. I swear there was a week off. Why is everyone knackered? All right, the the smart thing to do here, I think, would go to the four three three. Um, I think that is the clever move right now. We put Sato on the left wing, Ibrahim up top. We've got Foster on the bench. In fact, I'm starting Foster for this one. Ibrahim. In fact, no. Last time we played in this formation, Ibrahim scored five, so we can stay there. Hato and Amy tired. Everyone's knackered. We can bench David for Hansen, but that's about it. Are we going to have to rely? On Bauman in that centre back, really? Yeah. Okay, I guess we do. We could go and sign someone from the youth academy. We could go and do some madness like that, but I don't want to, to be honest. We'll put Schmidt in goal though, because he's been 
playing out of his damn mind. Um, but yeah, Hato, Vilalba, Baum and Hansen, that's a slack in defence and it let me put Hato at left centre back to cover for Hansen. Bold Amos, Ono Bergwal, Ishikawa, Sato, Ibrahim, that should be good enough to win us a game. Especially against 16th in the league, whatever these are. Come on, let's get it. Yeah lad, Moses aged a bit there. <laughs> Going grey. That's what a goal drought does to a man. <laughs> It's all going well for the manager after reaching 100 career wins. What next? We'll find out on EA TV. We've recently just hit 50 episodes in the German Dream Chasers career mode. And now we've just hit 100 wins. You love to see it. What a ratio that is. Hello, Reds. What a ratio that was then. Well, in big, well. Oh no, fan, that's Ishikawa. Picking it up. Lovely, lovely. And that is good attack and play. That's more like it, boys. Moses on the score sheet. Maybe we should scrap this 4 3 1 2 formation completely. Just play the 4 3 3. I just wanted to get a two striker formation for Moses and Devo, bro. Maybe we will come back next episode with new tactics. I'm not doubting the tactics, by the way. Remember, never doubt the tactics. However, we might just be switching it up a little bit. We're getting results, but the performances aren't great. I want to try and focus more on the performances, bro. You know what I mean? Because nobody wants to see us just skipping highlights just straight to the results because it was 1-0 every game. You know, I know I say I'm Jose Mourinho, but I don't really want to be playing like him. Big tackle, bam, and there, let's go. You best be careful, Sato, bro. Dribbling like that in our box. Here goes Segeda Hansen. He's going out on loan soon, but he blasts it forward now. Look at the charge here from Moses Ibrahim. Every time he sees that gap in the defence, big tackle. But he wants to get forward into it, and Emos running the show in midfield again. So we love to see Vilalba, the man on his way out, whipping it into Moses. Why has he hit that on the volley? Moses, who does he think he is? He thinks he's special. He is special, but a big save there from Muller. His hair looks crazy in goal. Let's get this in, Ishikawa. Nice ball. Hato. Hato off the line. Should have gone for the overhead kick. It might have gone in. <laughs> no, and that guy, bro. Ishikawa. Oi, we know Ishikawa can bang one. He had a great goal last season in the compilation. Edge of the box, half volley. Here's Amos again. Knocking it out. Big ball wide. Ishikawa gets it into Moses, and there it is. There's the overhead kick. Oh, look at the drip. Oh, Dal, did you see that, bro? Cash money mark. He got that shit on, bro. Look how hard that coat is. <laughs> Oi. It's been a minute since we saw Cash Money Mark in a new coat. But he got that shit on for real. Bergval into Sato. Ishikawa on the spin. Feeding Moses. Great play, Moses. First time. Big save. I wanted a finesse on the right there. It would have went in, but... Yo, that keeper might have the most detailed face and hair I've ever seen in FIFA. Who is he, bro? Is he special or something? Why has he got special treatment from EA? No way. That's so jammy. That's so lucky. Baum and covering the sweaty and Schmidt had it all to do still. What a save, man. He's literally been player of the episode for like the last two, three episodes, Schmidt. And again, coming to claim the cross. Get it forward, Schmidt. Look at the minimap, bro. Let's get him an assist, Ishikawa. Get our keeper an assist. Just run at him, lad. He won't know what to do. Ah, oh, big tackle, Danny Rose. Big tackle from Bauman, man. But he's 32 years old and still playing out of his mind. Well, in Amos as well. He's been boss. Vilalba, you have to play that. That's why we're getting rid of the guy. I don't care if he goes. Okay, we've won a foul, but I'm not asked anyway. Should have got the pass off. Come on. Danny Rose dominating here. I need to stop calling him that in case he's a real player. I don't want to be disrespectful, but I see a left back called Rose. That's Danny to me. Distributing it well. No! Big tackle, Bauman again. I've just renewed his contract off camera because it was about to expire. And ball! Oi! Blayton and ball, lad! Just seen him touch it. Oh, and Hato. Oh, come on, Sato, move your fat ass! Little chubby. <laughs> we saw him in the pre season game, innit? He was looking chubby after the off season, lad. I'm taking him off now for Lyle Foster. He now has 5 star weak foot and 85 pace, love to see it. Come on boys, 
Yeah, Sato, you especially. Come on, you. Pause. Ron Big tackle on O. Is he going to have an impact before he gets subbed off? Here he goes, Sato. Moses! Oh, he's got an assist. Come on, Sato, you fatty. Let's go, yeah? Come on. <laughs> there he goes, the little stumpy dwarf off the pitch. I don't know why I'm just roasting him, bro. I don't know why I'm going so hard on him. <laughs> oh, I love Sato Jr. Well, then, Ono. Ono's had a great game, man. He normally stinks. Ibrahim. Foster, first touch, first goal. In off the bench. Wow, Lyle Foster is great. Hold on, why is everyone there? Why did everyone just spawn behind him? That's a well-detailed screenshot there as well. Hold on, EA. I was not familiar with your game. Thanks for the thumbnail. <laughs> That's lovely, though. First time finish. It's so sweet when that happens. Love it. Come on, boys. Jensen wide into Hansen. Foster. Ibrahim. Inside. Ishikawa! What a goal! What a goal! Come on! Great football. Talk about bad performances. When we score goals, bro, they are good. One goal in 11 matches for Ishikawa, is that it? He's been playing great recently as well. Deserves way more than that. Here he goes again. Oh, he nearly had one against Bayern. Doing this exact same thing. Yeah, he's going to go unselfish and cut it to Moses. Who goes unselfish? To Amos! Oh, nearly deflections. Nearly flew in somehow, but what a win that was. 4-0 against Schalke. Similar to what happened with Dusseldorf, we played a side that we had tough games with last year in the Bundesliga 2, but now we are a Bundesliga team. The quality we have in this squad is just no match for these lower league and Bundesliga 2 sides, bro. Even the boy Moses bouncing back, bad form for certain players. Sato got an assist still right before he got subbed off. Ishikawa's been great. Our keeper's been great the last few games. Defence solid as always. Amos, the bald one, stepping up into his big shoes. Size 11 feet. Like, bro, I'm loving it. The development of the squad is going crazy right now. Clean sheet leader, Eric Schmidt. 16 games and 5 clean sheets. He's been so good. How's only 23 million transfer value? He has been incredible, bro. I believe now it's our winter break, so we have two weeks off, or is it it's four weeks off until the next league game against Augsburg, 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 however you say it. Yeah, no idea, bro. And we play Schalke again in the next month. Wow, they're going to be crying themselves asleep and then realise they play us again in two games' time. Um, but yeah, and we play Frankfurt again. Didn't we just play them this episode too? What is this, bro? Are we playing... Glad back afterwards. No, we're not. But we've got Union Berlin in the next round of the cup. And then got them in the league just after too. So it's getting to that point in the season after this break now where the games are going to come quick and fast. Pause. <laughs> but yeah, January transfer window, of course, opening up too. Not too much to, to say about the January transfer window. Apart from Villalba, my force a transfer. We've obviously got Segeda Hansen going out on loan in January as well to uh, Heidenheim. Now, if the Villalba transfer does get forced through, I'm going to call back Segeda Hansen. If not, we'll leave him on loan to cook for the season. Hopefully, he gets a nice boost in his stats because he's a good player. It's very similar to David in the sense that good pace, good physical stats, but everywhere else is slacking. You know, the passing, the dribbling, um, it's not great. Obviously, we don't really need shooting, but the passing, especially for our left back, the way we play, playing out from the back, getting forward on the wings with the full backs. You know, the passing stat isn't great, but yeah, man, this season's been crazy. Let me show you the standings before we do finish right there. They have different colours then. So top four is Champions League, fifth is Europa. Of those colours is what I'm guessing. On this screen, it doesn't show the same colours for some reason, but we finished the episode four points ahead of Red Bull Leipzig, and we're in third place in the league, bro. That's crazy. I mean, Bayern Munich running away with the league title right now. Only one loss this season. Only one draw, two, and that was to us. We've only had one draw and it was to Bayern. You get me? So, yeah, this season, it's not going the way I expected it to at all. I thought by now we'd be like 11th, 9th maybe. It's still a tight league and there's still a lot of games to go, but we're doing a lot better than I did expect. So, I'm proud of the lads. 
Thanks for all the support on the series so far. People, if you have enjoyed, like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comments what you think we should do in January. Is there anyone you think we should pick up? Any backup options? Obviously, right now, I've explained pretty much every player in the squad to use my thinking on them and stuff. So, I don't really think we need to sign anybody. Is there anybody you would sell? Anybody you would loan out? Let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you next time for another episode of... The most electrifying career mode in FC24 Entertainment. Take it easy, people.